Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law and Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we're doing another video using pretty much all new to me makeup. So if you're curious to see what products I picked up, how I created this look, and my first impression thoughts, keep watching. So I thought what we would do today is just do another full face of new to me makeup. I have gotten so much new makeup in and instead of doing individual videos, I thought we would just put a bunch of it together, create a look using all new to me makeup. I'm going to start with a primer that is new to me. I received this in one of my Sephora favorites boxes that I have purchased over the years. And this is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I used this the other day. I liked it. It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. So that's the consistency. And I'm just going to apply it like I would a moisturizer. So this is not a primer that I would typically use. It left my skin feeling very silky, soft. And most of the time I'm using more of like a gripping primer. Something that the makeup is going to stick to and make it last just a little bit longer. But I had this sample. I did want to give it a try. Now I had the original. This was the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Originally when I tried this one, I did really like it. And then I did use it with a foundation and it went horribly wrong. So I haven't reached for this since, but this one worked underneath the foundation that I used the other day. So maybe I will go back and give this other one a try again. Like I said, it's not the typical type of primer that I use. Although I do know that the Tatcha primers have a cult following. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Foundation, and I'm going to be using shade 3 Cool. So this is not a new to me foundation. I actually have this foundation just in a different shade. So what happened was, husband's birthday was last week. And he has been staying down at the lake because he is... Um, he has hurt himself and he has to have back surgery. So he's been in a lot of pain. And so he's been staying down at the lake house for the past couple of months. And he usually comes home about once a week or so. So it was his birthday. He was going to come home and then he decided not to. So I made the last minute decision to go see him because it was his birthday and I didn't want him to be alone. So I made the decision to go directly from work. I didn't have any makeup. I didn't have any clothes. I, I just went. Um, so I stopped at Sephora on my way down there. There was a Sephora and a Kohl's. And so I stopped there to get a few makeup items that I didn't have. Cause I actually did have some makeup in the car, but I had already done my foundation, my concealer, my powder and whatnot. Um, I'd already used those products at home, so they weren't in the car. So I stopped at the Kohl's that had the Sephora so I could pick up a few items. I also needed some work clothes because <laughs> I didn't have work clothes. The foundations that they had at the Sephora inside the Kohl's was very, very minimal, like super minimal. Um, and I could not find a foundation that I was like, oh, I want to give this one a try. But they had the Charlotte Tilbury and I love this Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I love it. But the shade that I have is a lot darker, so I can only wear it in the summer. So I was like, well, let me see if I can find another shade. I don't think that this is a good match, honestly. I think I probably should mix the two, and maybe that's what I'll do right now so I can go in with a little bit more. So I have shade 6 Cool, which is really, really deep. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of that and see if I can make this work because this is really, it's a little bit too light. But I do really like the foundation. I just can only wear it in the summer. All right, so mixing those two together definitely seems to be a better match. So, like I said, I picked up a couple new products. I picked up this foundation. I could not, for the life of me, find a concealer. So again, I just bought a backup. I have the NARS Radiant Concealer, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I am getting running a little bit low. So I went ahead and picked up a backup of that. And then I picked up a new powder, which we'll try today. This is the Rare Beauty powder. Um, I didn't think it was... It was just all right. But we'll give it a try and use it here. When I was doing my makeup at the lake, I was very limited in what I had. 
I did not have many of my makeup brushes and I definitely didn't have a powder brush. So I actually had to go in with my bronzer brush to add the powder. And I bought a foundation brush. So this is the brush that I bought from Sephora. This is the Sephora Pro Collection number 47. I mean, look at the difference. I like a big brush. It's faster, right? I get more coverage. So this brush was awful. I will never ever use it, ever. It's too small. It does not, it just doesn't work for me. Some people I'm sure this is a perfect foundation brush, but for me, I just prefer something a little bit bigger. But you know what? It worked. It was only for one day, so it worked. All right, so there's the foundation. Again, I had to mix those two shades. So I mixed three cool with six cool. That's a lot better. I don't have a new concealer, but I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Since I used Charlotte Tilbury on the cheeks or for complexion, I'll go ahead and use that for concealer. And I have shade 6.5. So I'll just blend that out real quickly with my foundation brush before we move on to this Rare Beauty powder. So here is the powder. This is the Soft Radiance Setting Powder and I picked up shade Light Medium. I was shocked to see that they had several different shades. So here is the packaging. You get 10 grams, it has a 12 month shelf life and it's made in Italy. Here is the inside, which I thought was a little bit different. You are able to turn the top to close it, which I was really, I was impressed by that. So I just have a little bit on the top there that I will just pick up with my Lamer powder brush. So right off the bat, I can tell you that the combination of the primer, the foundation and the powder is not a good match. And I don't know what of those three products doesn't work well together, but I can tell you that the three of them do not work well for my skin. I'm going to scoot in and zoom in to try and show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, like right here, you can really see my pores. It's almost as if the powder really, really dried down whatever was on my face. I just do not think it looks good. I think it looks really, really bad. I'm going to take my foundation brush and try and go on top of that to try and blend that powder in. Okay, that made it worse. Look at that right there. All right, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop, we're gonna keep going. I think from a distance, it'll look fine. It's just if I get up close, you can really, really see that it does not work well together. But I'm gonna keep going because I do have other products that I wanna try. The fact that this doesn't look good hopefully won't affect the other products. I do not have a new bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with my clay de peau. I have shade number one. To apply it, I'm using my Chikahoto F01. I did pick up a new cream blush. This is the clay de peau cream blush and I have shade number one. Now I already have shade two and shade four. This is shade one and that's what that looks like. These clay de peau blushes are definitely some of the absolute best cream blushes on the market. I really, really, really like them. And I will swatch all three for you here in just a second so you can see the difference. I can tell you right off the bat, shade number one seems to be a lot more pigmented than the other shades that I have. So I'm gonna go in order. I will start with shade number one. I have shade number two. And then shade number four is my favorite and it's the one I use the most. So here's one, two, and four. And like I said, these cream blushes are definitely one of the absolute best on the market. So now I'm gonna go in with a new powder blush. This is again, not new, but new to me. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blushes and I have shade number two, Explicit Flush. And that's what Explicit Flush looks like. It is very, very similar to other Tom Ford blushes that I have in my collection. And you will see that I have swatched it in the past when I unboxed it. That's pretty pigmented. I swear, I don't even know if this video will ever get uploaded. I really don't. So far, it's like everything has been a failure. Everything combined just is not, it is not working. It's just not working today. I'm hopeful that the eyes are going to work. I know that they will. I know that the eye makeup will look good, but right now the face, 
I'm not loving it. I'm going to be honest, not loving it. For highlighter, I have a Labouche Rouge highlighter and I have shade, I don't really see a shade name, but it is the highlighter. When I picked it up during the Bergdorf sale, the cases were not available. So I don't have the cases yet. I'm just going to leave it in this box. At some point I will pick up the cases though. So I'm going to go in. I picked up a Sonia G NOG Pro and I'm just going to go in with that highlight. I think that this highlight is going to be beautiful. I am not going to form an opinion on the highlight right now because right now it looks awful. Awful. That texture is so bad. I think that it's a combination though of the foundation plus the powder. So I'm definitely not going to say that it is the highlight because I think the highlight is going to be really pretty. I'm buffing this down with my Sonia G Smooth Buffer. Yeah, I do not at all like the base of my face right now. And I've used the foundation before, so I'm going to say that it is the primer or the powder. Because I have, you know, you can see that this Charlotte Tilbury foundation I've used a lot of. Because I really, really, really like it. Um, so I don't think that switching to a different shade is going to make that big of a difference. I definitely think it's the powder or the primer. And it could be the primer because, like I said, I had used the Tatcha Silk Canvas in this form. And it did not look good underneath the foundation. So it might be the primer. I will try the powder in another video as well but we're going to move on to eyes because I am really excited for the new eyeshadow that I'm going to use and hopefully that works. I went ahead and primed my eyes off camera. I used the Chanel Ombre Premier Longwear Cream Shadow in Skintolins. That is my favorite eye primer and now I'm going to go in with eyeshadow. I have the second of the eyeshadow quads that I purchased uh, from the Bouche Rouge. Here is what this looks like. And I believe that it is, uh, the quad's name is Tag. And these are mattes. I am really, really excited to try this. I did use a satin quad. And I will link that video up in the cards. It was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I do have really high expectations for the all matte one. But like I said, I will go ahead and swatch all four shades. I will start with this lightest and move to the darkest. These shadows are so creamy. I really, really like those. I'm going to take a Sonia G Classic Crease. I'm going to go in with the lightest shade and we're going to start with that shade and we'll place that in the crease. Now, like I said, when I reviewed the other quad that I have, it was all satins and I was floored, absolutely floored with how beautiful it was. So far, I'm really, really liking this. And now I'm going in with that second to deepest, second to lightest shade to build up that crease. I'm going to take that same brush and go into that brown. This is beautiful. And I do really think mixing this quad with the satin quad would be really, really pretty. I'm gonna take a Sonia G Mini Booster and I'm gonna go into the darkest shade. And we'll just place that in the outer corner. So I've just been placing these right on top of each other and it's not patchy, it's still blending so easily take that same Sonia G soft or classic crease to blend I had to leave and go pick up my son so this makeup has now been on for about 15 or 20 minutes and I'm just going back in to really add some definition to that outer corner and again I'm just using that dark shade and I used a Sonia G Mini Booster. And then taking that classic crease brush to blend and diffuse. 
So I do think that these shadows are very, very pretty. I think they look really, really nice on mature skin. I don't see, I don't see a lot of fallout. I'm going to go in with a soft shader into that lightest shade and we'll just pop that in the inner corner. Now, normally I will on like an everyday basis, if I was wearing this, instead of using that light shade, I would use a shimmer, but I just want to use this quad to create the look. So I'm just going in with the lightest of the shades. If I was reaching for this palette on an everyday basis, I would go in with a shimmer. And actually, I'll go in with the highlight shade. So here's that Le Bouche Rouge highlight. And I'll just pick a little bit of that highlight up to pop in. That is really, really pretty. So now I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. To line my eyes, I have the brand new Huda Beauty Eyeliner. And this is the Creamy Coal, and I have shade Very Brown. So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with that. For mascara, I have this mascara. I think I got it in Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I think the brand is Izzy. It's a zero waste mascara. I think what you're supposed to do is once you're done, you're supposed to ship this back to them so that they can reuse it. It is a pretty heavy um, metal container. So I will go ahead and use that today along with the Huda Beauty eyeliner and then we'll be back to finish off this look. I do have a new brow product as well as some new lipstick. Here's the finished eye look after eyeliner and mascara. I have to say I have used this Huda Beauty eyeliner before just not on camera. I really 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 like it. Now this was gifted um, however this video is not sponsored but I have to say, I really, really like it. The mascara was a little, I don't know, it wasn't my favorite. Here's the wand. It's a little bit different, and it did come out with a lot of product, so it was kind of clumpy and kind of hard to use. But overall, I think it looks all right. But the eyeshadow and the eyeliner, I both really, really like. So I do have a new brow product. Now, this was gifted. Also, this is the Make Beauty Sculpting Brow Tint, and I have shade Warm Taupe. So here's the packaging. You can see the color there. I really, really like it. Here is the wand. I think it leaves my brows very natural looking, which is something that I really, really like. So I oftentimes don't do anything with my brows, but I tried this and I was really impressed. It also doesn't leave my brows crunchy or hard, which is another thing that I don't like. So this just kind of makes them look like my brows, but better. All right, for lipstick, I won a giveaway over on Instagram from Blue Mercury. And one of the items in the giveaway was this lipstick from Shantikai. Now this is the Lip Veil and it's in shade Timbody. I have never actually tried a Shantikai Lip Veil. I always end up getting the Lip Cheeks. So this is a not only a new shade, but a new formula for me. So I'm really excited to try it. I think it is a perfect, perfect shade for me. That is what it looks like. I think it's going to be perfect. Do not have a new lip liner, but I do have a Chantecaille uh, lip liner. This is shade Discreet. I think it's going to look be a perfect match. So I will go ahead and line my lips and then we'll try out this new lip veil. So I really, really like that shade. It is very, very pretty. It's the consistency of the lip veils is similar to the lip cheek. However, this one is just a little bit more mattifying. It's not quite as hydrating. So here is the finished look. Pretty much a full face of new to me makeup. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love the eye. I love the lips. <laughs> um, complexion. So right now, the combination of this Tatcha Liquid Silk Primer with the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation and the Rare Beauty Powder. Those three did not work well together. I do not... <laughs> I, I don't like the way my face looks at all. Um, it just didn't work. It just did not. It just did not work. But everything else I really, really like. I am excited to continue to use that highlighter. I think the highlighter is going to be really, really pretty. Putting it on top of products that already do not look good is not fair. So I will not 
you know, I'm not going to comment on that, but I will again also use that over on Instagram. And the cream blush, I, like I said, I already have two other shades. I really, really like the formula and this is just a new shade for me. And that same goes for the Tom Ford shade and illuminate blush. This is, I think my fifth one. <laughs> um, there's only six in total. There's only one that I don't have, but I really, really like those blushes as well. So Again, I think it's just the complexion products did not work very well together. But let me know what you guys think. I know that on camera, it might look a little bit different than how it appears in person. In person, I think it looks like a hot mess. Let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video.